He's bowing down before the queen. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 9 a.m. right now. All the cats want to eat their breakfast. Even Boo. The cats are having breakfast. They're eating their homemade raw food. I had a bribe Boo with a few crunchies on top of his. Nine fifteen a.m. I just came outside and look it looks like someone ate the tuna that was frozen in this bowl and This is the thermo kitty cafe. Look at this. This is completely empty. All of the water is gone and I mean as far as two stainless steel bowls that have been outside for quite a while They're pretty clean. I mean it looks like they've been either licked clean or I don't know I just came inside and caught Stella eating whatever food Boo left on his plate. So before I went outside to feed Hydrox, I noticed Boo came upstairs and he was like licking his lips. So I made a mental note to go downstairs and move his food, like whatever was left of it. And then I did not do that before I went outside to feed Hydrox. And I came in and Stella, being the opportunist that she is, went downstairs and ate what was left or most of it. Look how cold it is outside. Look at the steam rising from that bowl of warm water. It's literally like room temperature water, maybe a little bit warmer than room temperature. It's 11 a.m. I just got home. One o nine p.m. And Boo's laying on the packing paper on the rug, and he's been playing with the homemade toy, with the tinsel ball on the ribbon. And he's right behind Stella, who's in the round cat bed. And there's Simba. So Simba's in the plastic cat bed. Stella's in the round cat bed. And Boo's on the paper. And Boo's playing with one end of this toy, the ribbon toy. And Simba was playing with the other end of the ribbon toy. And Stella's in her cat bed in the middle trying to get some sleep. Hello, Boo. It's 
Tim is trying to get Stella to lick his head. Stella says, I'm trying to sleep. Leave me alone. Three cats on the play rug. All in a row. Pooh. Stella. And Simba. Someone is in the cardboard cat house. It's not Stella and it's not Boo. It's Simba! It's 12.57 p.m. I came outside to see what Hydrax was up to. He's relaxing in the sun. Must be warm for him. I think he was taking a nap. I don't want to disturb him. I'm going to go back inside. It is 4.23 p.m. right now. I just walked into the room and Stella and Splash were laying in the round bed together. Like the two of them were just completely laying in the bed together. It wasn't like Splash was like laying on top of Stella. It was like they were laying side by side in the round bed. But I walked in the room really fast and it spooked Splash. So he jumped up out of the bed. It is 4.55 p.m. And I just opened the door so I could go outside and give Hydrax some dinner. And he was laying to the right of the doormat. So like he was laying where I used to have that uh, pet sport carrier. I thought that was very interesting. So Hydrax meowed at me a few times while I was outside. And then I told him that I gave him his food in the heated bowl. And he just walked over there to eat it. So I'll check in. I'll check back in about five minutes and I'll see if it's empty. If it's completely empty, I'll probably mix him up some more food. He's getting the homemade raw food right now. He's getting three scoops of it. And I have enough raw food left to feed him breakfast and dinner tomorrow. So that means tomorrow, like, I guess maybe uh, late morning or early afternoon, I'm going to try to go and buy some um, fresh chicken. Uh, to make another batch of raw food for him. I found that if I go to the store too early in the morning, uh, then they don't really have any fresh meat out, especially on a Monday. Um, I found that the best days to shop are Monday through Friday because that's when the butcher departments are working in whatever store I'm in. And a lot of times they'll just load up the meat section on a Friday and uh, you know just sell everything off over the weekend and then they come in on monday and they prepare um, more meat and then they put it out um, sometime during monday and if i go too early in the day it's not out yet so i'm learning all kinds of things um, from making homemade raw food for the cats boo came out to say hello he was sleeping on his day bed and Boo says, how come Hydrox gets food and I don't get food? Boo, you gotta wait. It is 5.24 p.m. And Hydrox's bowl was licked clean. I don't know if he finished it or someone else finished it, but it was empty. So I gave him one of the Sheba cups. Um, I think it's the tuna one. I added water to it. And uh, he was out in the bushes. And I didn't see him when I was out there. But I was like, hey, Hydrox, I just gave you more food. Next thing you know, I heard like bushes rustling, and then he walked onto the patio to get his food. It is 10.26 p.m. right now. Splash just tried to jump on the back of Simba. And that's why I turned the camera on. But the minute I turned the camera on, then he stopped. Splash. 
It's 10.33 p.m. right now, and Splash just did this new thing where, like, I'm sitting here editing a video, and I'm just about to uh, render the video, and Splash walked up to me, he meowed at me, and he let me pet him. He's never done that before. Sometimes he'll walk up to me out of curiosity, but he's never meowed at me, and he's never let me pet him when he walked up to me. Usually I'll put my hand out to pet him and he'll walk away, but he let me pet him. That means he really wants crunchies. Splash, you want some crunchies? It's 11 p.m. Stella has chosen her favorite basket and Boo's still laying on the paper. It's 11.30 p.m. right now and it is 28 degrees outside. This is the temperature in Hydrox's shelter, 52 degrees. So it is about 24 degrees warmer in his shelter than it is outside of the shelter. It is 7.25 a.m. When I say good morning to Boo on the cat tower, then he jumps across the room onto the bed and you want some pets, look. You're doing your stretches? Oh. Then he flops down. He flops down and says, give me pets. Okay, boo. He's so soft. You're so soft, boo. Good morning, Stella. I'm surprised Stella is still sleeping on the cat tower. Usually she's up. You feel okay, Stella? Good morning, Simba. How are you today? Did you have a nice morning? Good morning, Splash. Splash was in the living room, but then he ran out when I was walking around. Now he's in the dining room. It's 8.15 a.m. She's watching Boo walk by. It's 11, 19 a.m. The cats are having a slumber party right now. There's a live stream going on. And Stella was just licking Splash's head. But then they got like in a little fight. He wants her to go back to licking his head. He's bowing down before the queen. Her majesty is not happy. Is she gonna go back in her throne? The round bed is like Stella's throne. And that was bubble wrap, what you see in front of Splash is bubble wrap.
It is 10.25 a.m. and I just gave Hydrox some food in the Thermo Kitty Cafe. He's getting homemade raw food with water and herbs. He's getting some fresh water also. And look at this bowl. It is frozen solid all the way to the bottom. It is really cold out. And there's Hydrox. He's hanging out in the sun by the house. It's probably a very warm location for him. Soaking up the rays. There's absolutely no food in the bowl of the automatic feeder, so he might have eaten that, or he might have had food somewhere else this morning, but he has not been meowing or pestering me for food or anything. He's very happy to soak in the sun. You know, the days are very short, so. It's 11.47 a.m. Stella has been snoring. I don't know how she's sleeping because Boo's been making a whole lot of noise right next to her. It is 7.45 p.m. right now, and I just fed Hydrox some dinner. He's getting two scoops of his homemade raw food, one scoop of chicken necks. He's also getting water and herbs mixed in, and I don't see Hydrox outside. Now, I just pulled in maybe like five minutes ago. Oh, look, look. Here comes Hydrox. I don't know where he was, but he heard me and he smelled the food. So he walked right over to it. So what I was saying was that I pulled in about five minutes ago and I saw a cat walk across the driveway, like in front of my car, but it was not Hydrox, it was Ditto. And I could tell by the back legs, the cat had much more white on the back legs. So I don't know where Hydrox was, but while Hydrox was away from the patio, uh, Ditto must have been paying a visit. Maybe he was eating the crunchies out of the feeder. I don't know. Um, but here's Hydrox. And tonight I am making him a new batch of homemade food. I just picked up some chicken on the way home and then he'll have fresh food for the next few weeks. It is 10.41 p.m. right now and the cats are eating their crunchies and there's a live stream going on and the cats are eating their crunchies on the live stream. Except you can't really see Splash on the live stream because of the way the camera is angled, but you could see the rest of them. It is 11.30 p.m. and we just ended today's live stream and I want to give some shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Deddy's Secret Garden who donated $5 to the cats. Uh, they say, Dear LF, I know it's not much, but at least you will get 100% of the amount. Keep up the good work and thank you for your amazing videos. Thank you so much, Deddy Secret Garden. That is awesome and it is very, very much appreciated. I also want to give a shout out to Eva Lash who donated $10. He says, thanks for the cozy Monday stream. Thank you so much, Eva Lash, for your donation also. Uh, yeah, today was a bit unexpected as far as the stream goes. And um, as far as it going so late, uh, it pretty much went all evening and most of the night. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.